zero four seventy ohm resistance in Norton's theorem when we apply ten volts. When we apply ten volts, when we apply ten volts per four seven for Norton circuit, the current obtained is six point six milliamps. Let us see how to do the experiment. Verification of Norton's theorem. Let us consider a circuit one eighty ohm, three thirty ohm, and two seventy ohm. Three resistances and four seventy ohm. Four resistances are connected to ten volts. What is the current through four seventy ohms resistance? How to calculate Norton's theorem? Current through four seventy ohms. Can we call it by using Norton's theorem? First thing we call it Norton's current. Can we call it by removing four seventy ohm? We removed that four seventy ohm and shorted, shorted four seventy ohm by a short circuit. Now one fifty, one eight, one eighty, three thirty, two seventy, and not trans current four seventy ohms is the current through three thirty ohms resistance is not trans current. Not trans current and the three thirty ohms low power current, three thirty low power current of not trans current. If we then short this, so we are cutting the manual resistance. Can we call it? No, I just short this. By removing four seventy ohms, we shorted that. Now for this circuit, this circuit is equal in resistance. What are they? These two parallel and it is in series with this combination. अटे वन एटी ओम प्लस पैरल कांबिने थ्री थर्टी प्लस टू सी दट गिव थ्री ट्वेंटी एट पाइंट फाइव ओम नो करे टोटल करे एंट्रिंग इज ईक्वल टू वि बै आर् वी आर् यूजिंग ओमसला ओमसला वि बै आर् दट ईज टेन बै थ्री ट्वेंटी एट पाइंट फाइव दट गिव जीरो पाइंट जीरो थ्री फोर वन एम्स वी कैन से इन मल्टी मिली एम्स वाट इज द नाट रन करे ईन थ्रो दिस थ्री थर्टी ओम रेजिस्टेंस इज टोटल करे Zero point zero three zero four four one. That means thirty milliamps into two seventy by two seventy by three thirty. That is opposite resistance for three thirty ohm is two seventy. Two seventy by opposite resistance by. Here we are using current division rule. How to calculate the not trans current current through four seventy ohms? That is not trans current is calculated by. Total current into opposite resistance by opposite resistance plus total resistance. That is, opposite resistance is two seventy four three thirty. That is thirteen point six nine milliamps we obtain. Now we go for not trans resistance. Now we go for not trans resistance. How to find not trans resistance for this circuit? How to find not trans resistance for this circuit by removing opening the four seventy ohm and short circuiting ten volts, similar to Thevenin's resistance. Now by short circuiting 10 volts, here zero volts it becomes 270 ohm, 180 ohm, 330 ohm. R n equal to this are in parallel 270 and 180, 270 and 180 in parallel, and parallel combination is series with 330. That is 870 ohm. Now not run equivalent circuit we provided here. Not run equivalent circuit I n, R n, and 470. Where we want to calculate current 470 ohm resistance is calculated. That is to calculate current through four hundred ohm resistance. I n already we calculated as thirteen point six milliamps. R n opposite of four hundred is R n. R n by R n plus four hundred that gives six point five milliamps. That same we verified through practically. Let us see. First we are measuring the resistances according to our requirement. One eighty ohm. This is the one eighty ohm. Let us see this. It is in two k. Or 200 also we can provide. It is this resistance is 180 ohm. This resistance is 180 ohm. You can see this resistance almostly 180 ohm, and this is 330 ohm. This is 330 ohm resistance. Hence we have to increase the range. 330 ohm resistance. It is 330 ohm. Assume that it is a 330 ohm. It is a 180 ohm. Now it is 470 ohm. This is the 470 ohm current through 470 ohms. We want to calculate. It is 470 ohm. It is 470 ohm. Yes, it is 470 ohm. Now this is 270 ohm. This is 270 ohm. According to our circuit, according to our circuit, we Divided. Now it is 180 ohm. We are connecting in bed board. These are in series, and these are columns. Assume that this is 180 ohm. This is 330 ohm. Three thirty ohm. We connect here, and this is 270 ohm. 
271 is connected to ground. Practically we are verifying not on circuit. For this circuit we are verifying. We calculated theoretically. But practically we are verifying. It is 470 ohm. 470 ohms is connected. We have to connect an ammeter here. To measure the current. An ammeter has to be connected. S and minus ammeter 0 to 200 milliamps. An ammeter MC type we can connect. Where is 270? It is 271 resistance. 471 resistance. It is 471 resistance. You can see here it is 471. 471 for 471 we are connecting ammeter. What is the current through 471? We are connecting an ammeter. This is the 471 resistance. Here we connected 471, it is 270, it is 180, it is 330. Ammeter positive terminal, here it is the ammeter positive terminal, this is the ammeter positive terminal. Ammeter positive terminal is connected. This is the ammeter positive terminal, we have to connect in bedboard. Ammeter positive terminal is connected to 330 ohm. Ammeter positive terminal is connected to 330 ohm. Now ammeter negative terminal, this is the ammeter negative terminal, this is the ammeter negative terminal, ammeter minus is connected to 470, this is the ammeter 470 ohm resistance, current through 470 ohm resistance, we are calculating by using Norton's theorem, it is connected, okay. these are all in series, we connected, we connected, 471 and ammeter now this is the ground terminal of this is the ground terminal here we have short circuiting the ground because here we are shorted if you want to remove this you can replace this here also You can connect like this this is the common terminal now this is the circuit we made but theoretically we calculated 6.5 or 6.6 milliamps we have to obtain now plus is connected plus is connected to 180 ohm this is the plus terminal of rps this is the negative terminal of rps it is a plus it is a minus first we switch on first we switch on now we are providing 10 volts for 10 volts we are verifying by varying in it is a 10 volts it is 10 volts 10 volts first two supply we are giving for 180 ohm resistance now we are switching off first two supply is connected to A negative supply is connected to ground. Negative supply is connected to ground. Now the current flow, now we are providing 10 volts we provided. The current flow ammeter is, this is the ammeter to 0 to 200 milliamps, 0 to 200 milliamps ammeter. The current flow 470 ohm resistance is 6.6. .6. Already previously we calculated theoretically is 6.5 milliamps, it is 6.6 .6 milliamps. Hence uh, the Norton's theorem is proved. How to set, connect the circuit? These are all the rows, these are all the columns. And first we connected, first we connected 180 ohm and 330 ohm. The parallel combination of, uh, series combination of this is 270 ohm. And 470 ohm is connected. Here one ammeter is provided. This ammeter is provided 330 and 470. Between that we uh, connected an ammeter. The theoretical and practical both types we verified Norton's theorem. Theoretically as well as practically we verified that is 6.6 .6 milliamps. How to calculate Norton's theorem? Uh, already a video is there. You can check the description. Thank you.